Students may not be aware of the fact that Samford is one of a handful of Christian national doctoral research universities in the country, and in fact, the only such institution in the Southeast. This gives us particular credibility in that area. Samford has a long-established tradition of preparing students for vocations in science. The 12 to 1 student-faculty ratio provides opportunities for individualized attention and hands-on experience. Students studying at the $28 million Probst Hall explore a full range of scientific questions in well-equipped laboratories. Another Samford strength is advising for the health professions. In addition to meeting their major requirements, students have a pre-health advisor who guides them through the medical admissions process. Students can improve their skills for the MCAT and participate in mock interviews with advisors before the medical school interview. At Sanford, there is a, such a great ratio of faculty to students. You get to meet the faculty and interact with them. One of the benefits that you get of coming to Sanford is you get really direct uh, connections with faculty members. I have students who are my colleagues. They don't wash dishes in my lab, they do science. Since you have a class size of about 20 to 30 people, um, their professors really generally care about you and they know you by name, which I think distinguishes Sanford from other schools. And beyond that, you get to work and do research with the faculty, which is just an amazing opportunity as an undergraduate student. You get to come into a lab and learn how to work inside of a lab environment. We have something called the Sanford Undergraduate Research Program, which students every year are eligible to um, do research with Sanford with a specific professor. The CERT program is an opportunity for undergraduates to get involved uh, with a research advisor in a laboratory setting, working on a project that neither the research advisor nor the student knows the answer to. It provides a, a really unique opportunity for the student and the advisor to work on a project that not only do they try to get towards an answer, but ideally they publish a paper together. The best thing about teaching science here at Sanford is how closely we're involved with our students. Our students are always with us. They're in our offices for advice. They're, of course, in our classrooms. They're in our labs for research purposes and some very close bonds develop then between them and us. In fact, there's very little difference between them and us. I think we've done a good job of breaking down the barriers between those two groups. It really broadens their experience because they get to take a lot of the information that they've learned in their chemistry classes and uh, apply it in situations that they would not necessarily have thought that they would apply it in. This summer I worked with uh, self-assembled model layers, which are essentially chemicals that are adsorbed to surface, and specifically worked on quantitation of these chemicals. So I got to use an instrument called the liquid chromatography mass spectrometer and was able to develop a method to generate calibration curves using that instrument. They develop an intellectual ownership uh, of some of the ideas in the project. So the intellectual ownership, I think, is a strong motivator um, for a lot of students who have a lot of ideas. Being a participant in the research program also with the publication actually helps their ability to be able to go on to professional school or graduate school because a publication in a peer-reviewed journal looks very good on a resume or on an application for professional school or graduate school. Or if they're applying for a position in industry, uh, that also looks really good. Because of my undergraduate research at Sanford, I was uh, able to get into some very good graduate programs. I'm going to be getting my MD-PhD, and I was told by the program that I'm going to be a part of that if I had not done the undergraduate research, there's no way I could have gotten in or even been competitive with people from other, other schools. And so that's just a perfect example of how Sanford is able to project you forward in your career goals and, and career ideas because they really let you experience what graduate school what life as a scientist can really be with their one-on-one -on -one research and the experience that you can get with the faculty here. It's a great model. Uh, the students are actually paid in the summer to be able to do this, so they get a research stipend. 
Specifically, I did research with Dr. Dobbins, who was doing research at the time with skin cancer growth. I have students in my lab who are growing skin cancer cells and then who are extracting using methanol extracts from fig plants and the leaves and the stems and then we take those extracts, put them on the skin cancer cells and what we have found is that extracts from both the figs themselves, the leaves and the juice suppress skin cancer growth in culture. Sanford has a very cutting-edge program integrating computational science and uh, biology and chemistry together in the Clark Scholars Program. The really interesting questions in science in the next generation are going to be addressed by people who have skills both in science and also in computation. And so the Clark Scholars Program is a program that is looking for students who have computational skills and interests and also who are interested in science. I believe that Sanford prepares its students well for graduate school in, in every discipline that we have. Specifically in mathematics, we try to expose them to all of the courses that they're going to need to prepare them for graduate school, but in addition to that, we encourage them to try to do some research. A recent example is a graduate of ours named Willie Ward. He went on to present his research at some mathematics conferences. At one, he was awarded a prize from all of the undergraduates for his undergraduate research and he's now attending graduate school in mathematics and he was received full tuition and a stipend to attend. Sanford was the right place for me because I had small classes with professors who knew me well, knew me as a person. Those professors taught me how to inquire, how to learn, how to ask questions, and to get involved in undergraduate research. It shaped my whole career. And most important, Samford had wonderful Christian professors living out exemplary lives and gave me many people to which I could emulate in my own life, in my own career. Samford University provides the kind of education that any student could need for any direction they want to go. My four years at Samford University provided me the kind of educational foundation and social development that I needed for what I went into in medical school and residency program. The sky's the limit for any student in any direction they want to go. I love Sanford University.